hello guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about something which is important which is affecting the the person in the market which is affecting the agripreneur which is affecting that uh, farmer which is affecting the value chain when it comes to uh, agricultural production so i just want to talk about those factors which are pushing or which are influencing that agripreneur or the farmer who has decided to just invest and uh, produce any certain of a, any type of a crop so that they can feed the market so that they can sell to get that income so we have a lot of factors which affect this agripreneur or uh, if I have decided to just look at agribusiness part or which has decided that I'm going to produce and I'm going to sell into the market. So we have a lot of factors which are affecting people to pick certain variety over the other one. So one is the market monopoly. You find that if there is this act of market monopoly whereby uh, the market is asking or is requiring a certain variety let's say of a potato of a beans or any type of a crop that is being produced so if the there is that monopoly the market is uh, like the people who are buying that uh, product from that crop they are they usually ask for certain variety. This one will affect even the people, the agripreneur, the farmers, any person who is doing the production of uh, that crop. So they are going to choose this uh, variety so that they can farm in, in their land to produce to the market because the market now is channeling. The market now is determining the direction of you to pick certain variety because if you grow the other type of variety which is not being uh, like asked for in the market you're going to find difficulty in finding the market in selling that uh, product which is from that crop so market monopoly is it can be good and also it can be bad because in a situation whereby that variety which you want which is being called for in the market is expensive and you are unable to access credit which help you to buy this variety sometimes you forgo and you go for the other variety which is not uh, which is of low required in the market so market monopoly can be good because at least you'll be informed or you'll be aware that this kind of variety is wanted in the market so if i grow at least i have the market the other one is that uh, people consider the dormancy how long does this uh, variety take to maybe germinate you know there are some variety which take a longer period of time to germinate and you know in a situation whereby the agripreneurs or the farmers are depending on rain fed if you have a variety of a stay or uh, they take long dormancy to uh, do the germination it will affect that rain fed pattern of uh, that place that you are in so people tend to go for those uh, variety which are of flow uh, like uh, dormancy is a short period of time it will take a short period of time for them to germinate so that is uh, the other factor which affect the the agripreneur or the farmers in terms of uh, picking a certain variety when they want to uh, to grow a crop the other one is the uh, accessibility so you find that you know we the scientists or the breeders they usually come up with a variety depending on locality ecology of that place uh, they, uh, they use a lot of factors to develop those uh, varieties so you uh, sometimes uh, a certain variety is being developed in a certain locality because before they release a variety to the market they uh, they must carry out a lot of tests of it before they release it to the market so sometimes where it is being produced you are 
unable or you find a very difficult or a rough time for you to access this variety so you forgo this variety and then you you find yourself going for the low variety or the variety which you can access and there might be those variety that you can access they don't contain those um, characteristics which are good uh, or which are uh, really promising and uh, for you so that is another factor which affect the agripreneurs or the farmers in terms of picking a variety of a crop for them to grow also we have uh, uh, other things uh, like for example this variety are they resistant to diseases uh, issues like pest so you uh, agripreneurs or uh, farmers tend to go for those variety which are highly resistant to disease and pest because we know pests and diseases are major contributors when it comes to lessening our output at, at the end of maturity period if we allow our or if we go for those the variety which are not resistant to diseases and pests and in case that period we experience pests a lot of pests or diseases we might end up not harvesting anything or we might end up even losing everything so this is other um, characteristics or the factors which affect the choice of a variety by the farmer or the agripreneur the resistant to pests and diseases so these are factors which influence the, it is, I have not completed all the factors, but these are the major factors which people usually look at it before they are, uh, they, are uh, they go for them, before they grow them. Other thing uh, like a traditional mindset, you find that uh, some people just grow a certain variety because people in their locality have been growing it and uh, they find difficulty in uh, attaining or uh, maybe doing the trials of other for, uh, variety of uh, crop so traditional mindset of what is what is what has like, been happening what are uh, like things that the people have been doing also affect uh, the chances or uh, that direction the agripreneur or uh, a farmer uh, go or uh, when they are choosing the variety because you know the traditional mindset or uh, the culture of a place if we have been growing certain uh, variety it means that we have the information about that variety a lot of information about it so you you are uh, if you are a agripreneur or if you are a farmer if uh, like that variety has been available in that area at least you understand everything about it and you find it easy for you to choose it than the new variety which is being introduced but what i can say is that uh, we we should be people who can try you know you you don't need to plant a very big track of land but let's say if there is a variety which has been introduced a new variety which has been introduced you have heard about it but you have never grown it or you have never seen anyone growing it what you do is take small a uh, bit of it and then uh, set aside a small piece of uh, land and then uh, uh, you try them in that piece of land you don't need to wait for other people to do it so that you can follow what they are doing because in doing this at least you get the experience so if they it is going to work well in that area then you can now decide to increase the size of land that you are going to grow in the next season so let let us not stick on those factors alone but also we should be people who are flexible because remember agripreneurship or uh, agribusiness or if you're doing farming it is a risk that you take always because you have a lot of things that happen during the production of a certain kind of a crop depending on things which are like coming up or which are like for example now we are experiencing issues about climate change so we should be people who are always flexible and always able to handle risk 
So I hope you are going to enjoy this video and I hope you have learned something about variety factors which affect people in choosing variety because you know these factors also affect the all value chain because it is going to affect the market demand and, and also supply it is going to affect all the, the issues about prices yeah so these are the factors that you are supposed to understand so that before you produce anything at least you understand the factors which are going to affect the whole value chain which will at the end affect the pricing which every farmer i know every agripreneur always wants to sell at higher prices